All right, everybody, this is Chewbacca and Logini and Apollyon. And this is my first video, so I might stumble through this a little bit, but I wanted to go ahead and show off this awesome finish in our last war that Asher put in. Um, if against uh, Clan, they don't know, I don't know what their name is. Anyway, in the last hour of the war, to be honest, I was freaking out. We had made a lot of mistakes. Um, there were attacks. Speak for yourself. They were losing in the last five minutes and stuff. Anyway, um, last five seconds because they were running out of time. Anyway, so Asher, he and I talked about this raid before he put it in because Predator had already tried to come in from the top left and one start it. And then Bomb came in from the top right and one start it. And so I'm like, all right, the only other place to come is either bottom left or bottom right. And so Asher and I are chatting, and I'm like, hey, you might want to use some earthquake spells and shatter these walls right here to make sure your troops go into the middle. Because jump spells are sort of like a, hey, if you want to go this way, please do. Whereas if you just go ahead and shatter the walls with four earthquake spells, which will shatter any walls, no matter the level, um, it basically guarantees some motion in that direction. And then I'm like, hey, go ahead and make sure some of these get wiped out so your king and queen don't just go start on their own escapade down the sides. Um, get those taken care of. So anyway, Asher comes in with an astonishing three star to ensure our victory. <coughs> and so let's go ahead and follow his attack. Now, go ahead and look at his army comp because this is the go wee wee strategy that he uses commonly. And uh, as we can see, he's taken his time, and now he's placed all of his Earthquake spells. Went ahead and shattered those. And then, just as we discussed, he's putting in some wizards to make sure that these surrounding little busy bases are getting taken out. And uh, he's got his golems going in for the tank. And all of a sudden, we start seeing all of his raid go... Notice the placement and timing of his king and queen. <sighs> Let me speed this up a little bit here. So these golems could not move any more perfectly than they have. And now here comes the lure. The king is just taking a beating. Luckily, he activates the ability before he's completely gone. And uh, right now, these witches are spawning, spawning blah, enough distraction here to allow the wizards to take out plenty of the defenses without taking on too much damage. So here we go, the town hall is underway and surely the expos and the archer towers are soon to follow. And so these golems come into the middle with perfect timings, pretty spectacular what's going on. And this witch over here, he's going around doing his thing and uh, we've got a massive movement of troops over in this direction. Now, this is when, while I'm watching the video, I'm beginning to wonder, man, that's a lot of wizards. It's a good golem standing there. This might be a three-star. And I'm beginning to wonder what's going to happen. Then, boom, there goes half of his army that was left alive. So now we've got a queen, and then this witch, and then those two golems. And one of them has been split and getting picked apart by those cannons. But the queen is alive. Now, if you notice any three star on a Town Hall 9, it's mostly, most likely going to end with the Queen still being alive. Just her ability to, to pick apart towers that are over walls is really valuable near the end when uh, there's less towers and she's less likely to be targeted. So at this point, we're really thinking, man, if that Golem survives this cannon, this is definitely going to be a three star. And look, the Queen... This is the only negative to the queen is that she gets busy sometimes when there's more important towers to be taken out. But sure enough, Asher's go wee wee strategy ends with a three star to ensure the, the clan victory. And it totally blows my mind. And I'm sure anyone else who watched this live was just freaking out, just like I was. And uh, that ended up our war with 71 69. And uh, that pulled off such an amazing win and if you notice in this war mayhem was actually attacked several times which um, if you've never looked at the war events up here 
um, it's really cool to look at the activity of the war by looking at this because um, you can view all of the attacks, not just the best one from your clan. So if you see um, the swords are for the attack and the shields are for defense, and uh, Mayhem gets attacked. Here's one. The number two attacked Mayhem to try to pull out another clan star and look 45% on that one. And then another time. There it was. You passed it. I passed it. There it is. All right. Number Mayhem. Four. Only got one star. Oh, he attacked. My bad. Oh, I was about to say, it didn't look like it. Yeah, that was, was his what attack. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know, it's silly. It's, anyway, uh, there's one of the Mayhem defenses, and that was a 69%. But anyway, Mayhem, in my opinion, pulled off the best defense, and Asher obviously pulled off the best offense in this clan war, earning them both MVP. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that Go Wee Wee strategy, and just a quick look at uh, some of the members in the clan. And so here's going to be the sign-off here from... Uh, Chewbacca and Logini and Apollyon Soul Ran. See you guys later. <laughs>